the plan proposed for the controversial Polo Club subdivision has been modified. Naperville News 17's Blaine Irwin has the details. In June, developer D.R. Horton came forward with a plan to annex and develop the unincorporated polo fields at 119th Street. The 723-unit proposal, with a mix of single-family houses, townhomes, and apartment buildings, received pushback from residents for its high density and potential safety and traffic impacts. The proposal was reduced to 702 units before coming to the Planning and Zoning Commission in July, where it got a split 3-3 vote, or no recommendation, positive or negative. Since then, D.R. Horton has made some more changes to the plan, including a further reduction of unit count to 637, moving single-family homes to sit adjacent to the South Point subdivision instead of townhomes, and the addition of 4.25 acres of parkland. But residents with the Plan For Us group say these changes don't really address their concerns. We have South Point single-family homes, we have High Meadows single-family homes, we have Wolf Creek single-family homes, and then they're trying to build in here at the polo field single-family homes, townhomes, and apartments, which is really not compatible. The new plan puts density at approximately 5.75 households per acre, about twice as much as the neighboring subdivisions, with between two and three households per acre. Residents say that high density will have a big impact on traffic that's already bad, even with D.R. Horton's plan to pay for the addition of a third lane to 119th Street. That also doesn't do anything for the traffic, which backs up from Route 59 all the way down to Book Road on occasion, more often than not during traffic hours. The Forest Preserve District of Will County is also concerned about the development and its impact on Riverview Farmstead, which is down the DuPage River from Polo Club. We're, we could very well have some issues, and I know we have issues right now even without anything being developed there and having flooding. You know, it's a floodplain that raises a lot of flags. Though D.R. Horton did not respond to requests for comment, they will be presenting their modified plan at the Naperville City Council meeting on November 7th, when council is slated to vote on the project. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Blaine Irwin.